Third Age Total War Divide and Conquer version 3.0. Now in the last episode we defended a pretty epic battle over here. We did lose our general but we held off, that's the main thing, and we kept our territory. Um, and uh, yeah, we, uh, well, I, I say we, um, this um, Veilman army scared off the siege which was on this element here. So Legolas is now stress free. Our money is slowly getting towards the positive mark, um, but we're still, still, um, we're still trying. Anyway, so while we're here, um, a little force came out of Buzzrakil, and now we actually have a mission to take it out. So, with this small army at this fort, I may take out this small army of three, and then move on to take that. Now, they are pretty heavy infantry, Snow Orc Raiders, um, and then they've got Medium Spearmen, and then the Snow Orc Scouts. The Scouts should be pretty easy to take out. We do have lots of archers. So uh, we should see how we go. It's basically going to be a skirmisher type mission, so not the most exciting, but uh, I'll try and make it as enjoyable as possible. Alright, here we go. I believe they're just going to run away. That's fine, we'll just take some shots while they do that. See, our main focus will be on their archers, which should be this squad here. And after that, we'll just slowly um, pick off the rest of their troops. Probably focusing on the um, the raiders, which I believe are hippie infantry. And then finish off with the spearmen. Starting to exchange shots now. Throw some javelins as well. back now. Alright, so the spearmen came pretty far forward, so I'm just going to slowly start picking them off. Going to have to kill them eventually, so I may as well do it now. And they're not looking too pleased. Alright, so I'm going to go engage the spearmen with my general squad. They should be able to slice them through pretty easily. And now we'll just focus on taking out this heavy squad. Oh, so they just caught my men here. They weren't running. It's a shame. No, no biggie though. It's only 48 left. I'll just keep running my men away. My general should finish up with the spearmen any second now. All right. So I told all my archers to charge, and for some reason I wasn't looking, and they actually just literally charged. So that's wonderful. So there we go. The archers have decided to charge in. Lovely. Not what I wanted. <laughs> a few more casualties I didn't need. But whatever, I'll take it. And we should be finishing off the general anytime soon. There's only four left. There we go. We lost 69, not terrible. Really wasn't, that really didn't go how I wanted it to, but I'll take it. Okay, execute you. Alright, and I will just move on to Wizard Kill. I'm just use my scout to make sure. Okay, there is a okay, single army there. And there's quite a few troops in Gund um in Dane's Hall, sorry. Alright, well. Feeling pretty good right now. See where our scout is. We really trade with them. We'll make our way up towards Bree now, as well as yes. the Northern Dunedain and the Emradis and all, all and all those guys. Right, I think we'll end another turn. All right, we've got another general. I will take him because we lost one recently. Where's he gone? He's over here. I'm gonna get him to come over here. Oh, hello. Who's this? Just a little cheeky, cheeky little army here. We'll go, go. Let's go take them out really nice and quickly. All right, here we go. So we got um, Camille's Shadow Rangers. Actually, really, really cool. And then just some um, Uruks from the looks of it. Nothing special. All right, we'll send our general. Hopefully, we we won't lose this general in the first turn that we got him. That would be a shame. All right, so now we're just taking shots. The Uruks are going after my general and we'll just slowly pick off these shadow rangers 
should be fairly easy. Definitely outnumber them by quite a bit. Only half the enemy force remains. All right, so we're just getting the orcs to chase my general while we shoot them down, and they should be dead any second now. Pretty simple. There we go. All right, goodbye to you, you sneaky army. Good riddance, and we'll send you up there. Lovely. Apparently, <laughs> we're outstanding relations with Isengard, and good relations with Goblins of Moria. Lovely. I'm glad. Okay, all is well. Uh, there is an army coming over from from Dane's halls. That is risky. Now this is just a mounting guard group, which we could just so we could just take this out right now. Oh, we can't. And they're going to be able to reach us next turn. That is actually a bit of a pain. Oh, we have an Agma army over here. For whatever reason, I don't know. So, uh, we do have 14 turns. So what am I going to do? I'm going to break off the siege. And we're going to hide in here for now because I don't want to deal with this army just yet. Okay, so we're only not minus 2,300 now. Slowly, slowly climbing our way back up to being in positive cash. We haven't used Legless in a long time as well, so we, uh, I'm looking forward to getting a few more troops. I think the troops we'll get from this mission will uh, start to push down south and take these uh, settlements over here. But it's nice having a giant Veilman army just on our borders to scare off any um, southern threats. Okay, Agmar just... <laughs> Agmar just attacked Gundabad. Okay, there we go. We're at war with Angmar. Fair enough. I wasn't expecting that. Well, I'm not surprised, but at the same time, I wasn't expecting that. Especially since the game said we had very good relations. That definitely makes it interesting. And these guys don't really have anything that amazing. They have Rudal Spearman. Just a lot of... Yeah, there we go. Well, at least we get to see Gundabad in the action, finally. We have a pretty solid little force to hold them off. I think would be fine. And what we could do is actually just come and flank them with this army here. And I think we'll just try and take him out nice and early on. Alright, here we go. So these must be the new... I think, I think they're new. I can't actually tell. I would like to try and combine our forces together since we are split up. So we'll wait until everyone's actually on the field first. Alright, we're getting into position now. So we've combined all our forces together, which is nice. You to go on the flanks. I'll get the other spinman to watch this flank as well. Now, from the looks of it, I think they only had the one ranged unit somewhere. I think it's these guys here. Don't know how good they are. This is a brand new enemy, Angmar, with their, with their new roster. Some units are a bit familiar, but uh, yeah, not not too sure. I, I believe these these spinmen should die pretty easily to my to my archers. So that's good. All right, here they come. Slow taking some shots now. I would like to take out. Oh, so they're actually missile cavalry. There you go. So these guys are medium infantry. These guys are light infantry. Okay, no worries. And the are yeah, dropping like flies, as expected. I'm just taking that nice and early on. I 
few volleys should do the job. coming in here. <laughs> Alright, let's charge these light hillmen. With our spearmen. There we go. I'm just going to charge their archers with my small squad here, just so, just so they actually do stop firing and they just run. And I'm just going to go flank this squad to help my spearmen out. And they should break as well, and they've broken. Lovely. So it should be just the... Should be just the um, archers now, and they should be all gone. Behold how our cowardly right, and there's the battle done. What we're going to do now is just pretty much chase down the rest of them. Let's get a few more. Get a bit of experience from killing all these guys. There we go. We only lost 29, I think. <laughs> I think that's pretty decent. So we didn't get to see the defense of um, of Gundabad, but I'm fairly sure we will see it in the future, hopefully. Especially now that Agma have declared war, I'm sure they've got plenty of bigger armies um, around the place. So yeah. And I'm not sure how well they're doing against uh, the Northern Dunedine and all that, so... This could, this could be scary. We actually may have to retreat from my position. Oh, but we shall see. And we're also a very long way away from being able to ever build anything here. So we're on uh, minus 88 culture. And to make any units, um, let's have a look. Yeah, we need at least 33 culture to get a few troops. So yeah, a long way away from getting troops. But our money is very, very close. Next turn we should be in positive and we should be able to start getting some troops. So Gundabad is now attacking as well. I mean, yeah. Gundabad is attacking Gundabad. Yeah, you know what I mean. So let's say we will see the defense. I'm actually looking forward to seeing that. I actually hope they do attack it because I would love to see the actual settlement as well. I think it'll look awesome. Beautiful. So I, I, I believe that that would have made us positive in money, I think, if they didn't attack that. But, oh well. And yes, finally, a giant dwarven army is on its way to come give me a hand. That should be a massive distraction. Perfect. So yeah, not a very, yeah, a very poor looking army. And they are building a ram. So that should be interesting. That should definitely be interesting. All right. Well, uh, let's go check out our diplomat. Yes, my lord. Oh, we got. Uh, oh, it's the, it's the Dunlans. Don't worry. 
without question. Yes, without question. All right, well, a um, pretty interesting episode. No major battles, but I guess we did have a pretty nice little battle against Angmar. It was cool to see their, or some of their new roster in the in the flesh. Next episode should get interesting, uh, defending Mount Gundabad, and uh, finally having some Dwarven help um, in our northern borders. And maybe we'll be positive money next episode. Guys, well, thanks for watching. I will see you next time, and uh, take care of yourselves. Ta-ta for now.